Hello everybody, welcome back or oh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Chris. Today we're gonna go for a wander. So today we're in Lincoln, my second home. So this is where I live for over 15 years. The reason I picked this spot here though, this is St. Matthias Church. And this spot right here, this is where I used to have my business. So I recently moved back to Wolverhampton after my trip to Asia. So I'm back to see some friends now. So I thought, while I'm waiting for them, I'll do a little tour of the area. So this is the church where I used to run my business from. And this road here, Burton Road, is where I used to live. So I think we'll have a walk down there, maybe go to the castle, the cathedral, maybe try and meet a few friends on the way and see what Lincoln's got to offer, see if anything's changed in, when was the last time I was here? It's probably about two or three months ago now, so I'll see if anything's changed. So yeah, come with me as we have a wander around Lincoln. Hello, father. How are you? Nice to see you. Yes, yeah, lovely to see you too. What are you doing around here then? I've just come back to visit some friends, so I thought I'd uh, make a little video. So this is Father, Father Philip. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah. Uh, how are you? To see you. Uh, thank God I'm very well indeed. That's good. So what's been going on? Not much really. Everybody I mean, Everybody misses you. Really? Well, they miss your pizza, certainly. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's nice to hear. They miss you too. But... Yeah. Yeah, it's just nice to be back home for a while at the moment, and I'm planning to go to Asia again soon. Look, I better go, but it's really, It is really nice to see you too, Father. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, hopefully I'll, next time I pop down, we can have a proper chat or That'd something. That would be really nice, so make sure you, you know, send me a message so I know you're here, so... Yeah, it was nice a bit one-off. I, I had a wedding in, um, like, Mansfield yesterday, so uh -huh. I thought, oh, I'll just pop down and see a few friends. Oh, that's great. Nice seeing you. Luck. See you again soon. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was Father Philip. So, yeah, people here, the congregation that come to this church are wonderful people, you know. I mean, I spent like over two years in this location and people are fantastic. So, yeah, let's have a little walk down. So, this is the road I used to live on, Burton Road. So, I spent a few years uh, here. I mean, I was in Lincoln about 15 years altogether because I went to university here and then um, I did go back to Wolverhampton for a bit once I graduated and then I came back to Lincoln and uh, I've lived all over Lincoln lived in a few villages outside in the centre up here up here is the the north of the city as we would call it Burton Road so I don't know if you can see in the distance but we got the castle down there and then also Lincoln is very well known for the cathedral. Cathedral is so beautiful. So we'll have a walk around through the castle maybe if it's open and then around the cathedral. I think it costs I think it costs about seven pounds entry to the cathedral, so I won't go inside, but I'll show you how beautiful it is outside. Um, yeah, so this is Burton Road. One of my friends owns a food place just here as well called Nona Yuanas. So if you're ever in Lincoln, I definitely recommend going to this place that we're gonna to go to now. If it's open those. Yeah, but then it seems weird. Oh. So yeah, very historical area, this um Bailgate area, lots of very old buildings. Um in the castle as well, there's a copy of the Magna Carta, so there's only a few in the world. I think there's only three. So one's here in Lincoln. I can't remember where the other one is, is it Canterbury? And then I think there's one over in the US. So any US viewers, the Magna Carta is pretty much what your constitution is based on. So I do get a few American visitors coming to Lincoln. Yeah. This used to be my competition here when I had my pizza van down the road. No Domino's. There was no competition on because my pizzas are way better than Domino's. I can tell you that. So yeah, let's go have a look. See if Nona Yuanas is open. It is indeed. Hello, Maria. Hello. 
Do you recognize me? Yeah, just say it. Señor. Oh, is, is that as well? Oh, no, Who is nice. that? So I'm doing a little vlog of oh, Lincoln. <laughs> Say hello, Maria. Hola. <laughs> one second, one second. Yeah, Maria, when did you start doing these, the raviolis? How, how many years ago was it? It's been now like two years. Yeah. So you had the shop? Two, three years. You've had the shop two years, ago. A it? year and a half years ago, going on two. It's been a while. The kitchen is packed now. I remember the first time when you opened it, you, there wasn't much there really, was there? Are you sure you don't want to no, have more Because I tell you that half if you want. No, 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 no. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Ah, you've been getting full. Nice and warm. It's getting full. Hey. Are you making me video? So you doing yeah, that? making a video, yeah. <laughs> making a vlog. So this is the food. So this is the money you earn. And this. <laughs> Camera shy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so those were my friends Maria and Andres uh, from Nona Ioana. So, yeah, I highly recommend that place. I mean, I, I know them. Uh, they used to come to, to get pizza from me, I always used to get food from them. Started selling raviolis, and then from there, they've branched out. So, loads of different things. So, I've just come back to the church because I'm not going to be able to finish all this because they gave me like a feast here. So, we've got sandwiches. And then they gave me a big giant of a cookie as well. Look at the size of that. So we'll try this. So look how beautiful that is. So we got a focaccia with pesto, serrano ham, mozzarella, and I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like a onion chutney or something. So yeah, let's give it a go. If you're new to the channel, you, uh, I love my food, so please subscribe to watch me eat my way around England, my way around Asia, or wherever I'm going to be in the world. So yeah, look at that. Cow. Mm. Maybe eating the papers, huh? That's so good. You know with food, you can tell when it when it's fresh, you know, when it's handmade, when a lot of love has gone into the food. I mean, you're not gonna get this. I mean, I think in the last video, I was talking about Greg's popping up everywhere. Cheap, easy food. Yeah, it's cheap and it's like quick food to get, but you're not gonna get the same quality as this, no way. So I'd rather pay a little extra and get good quality stuff. So I mean, look look how fresh that mozzarella is. Mozzarella is. Yeah. Good stuff. I'll just sample a bit of this cookie. The size of it. It's like the size of my hand. So yeah, look at the inside of this cookie. I think this is chocolate and walnut, I think Maria said. Very nice once again, very thick. Cross between cookie and a cake, really. I like it, very good. Very good flavor. You can tell good quality chocolate there as well. So I'm gonna eat my sandwich. I think I'm gonna be finish half of it. I'll probably leave it in the car. And then we carry on my walk down Burton Road, show you where I used to live. We go to the Castle Cathedral. Let's go. So a bit further down Burton Road now. So to my right here, we've got the Lincolnshire Life Museum. So if you don't know about the history of Lincoln, you can go there. I think it's free to go in as well. So could be an easy day out for you. So we've got a pub on the corner, the Ploughboy, which to be honest, I've never really went. I've never, I think I've been in there once. And I live just pretty much across the road, but the pubs I used to go into a bit further down, like more kind of traditional, uh, real ale pubs. Um, so yeah, we'll walk past them in a bit anyway. 
So we're getting close to where I used to live now. Let's see if anything here has changed. Oh, this has changed as well. So this is Lincoln Sushi, Link Sushi. So this lady started off in um, in lockdown, I think. Not a fan of sushi, so I've never tried it to be honest, but what I have heard that is is good. Um, so yeah, got Frank Connell here. I heard actually that he passed away, Frank. Um, I always used to see him outside because I live just a few doors down. So I always used to see him outside pretty much every day. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately I heard he passed away recently. Got Rachel London Photography, my, my ex-neighbour, Sheehan. I think so. So yeah, this is where I used to live, just above there. That was my home. We've got the old bakery opposite. So yeah, perfect location where I used to live because the castle is literally just down the road. I've got to say, I do miss Lincoln because it's such a nice place to walk around. Um, so relaxed here. Definitely recommend it for a place to to visit because it's unknown really not many people know about Lincoln and it's definitely one of those hidden gems you know especially if you live in a big city if you're from London a place like Lincoln's a perfect place to come for a weekend to relax so, yeah, we've got a good very good restaurant here as well the bronze pig highly rated restaurant never actually been in it myself though so here are the couple of pubs that I was talking about so we've got the strugglers that's like proper traditional pub. This used to be my corner shop, but uh, I think Tim's Tim's left now. I think he sold it. Trying not to get run over by the learner driver. So yeah, this is the strugglers here to the left. And then further on, we've got another pub as well. So we've got a nice hotel here to the right, Charlotte House, and then they've got the lawn complex, so it's nice gardens and that if you want to walk around. But yeah, this is the other pub, the Victoria, so it's a Bateman's pub. So Bateman's, their brewery, is actually not too far from here in a place called Rainfleet, so it's close to Skegness, if you've ever heard of Skegness. So this is the Vic. Changes quite a bit as well, See, a lot more seating outside now. And I don't know what it's like now, but this used to be one of the better Indian restaurants in Lincoln, the Castle View. And obviously it's called Castle View, because you got a view of the castle. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, I've, uh, I used to walk around here quite a bit actually, because it's free to get in. You don't have to pay anything to get in and walk around the grounds. But like I say, you can't actually pay for the exhibition and Look at the Magna Carta. What also is special about this castle is in the castle grounds is actually the Lincoln Crown Court. So I spoke to a few solicitors over the years and they've always said they love they enjoy coming to Lincoln because it's unique, you know, like the, like this is the, I think this is the court here. Yeah? So it doesn't exactly look like a court setting, does it? Come on. All right, got an event going on or something. So yeah, it's a nice place to walk around. You can walk around the castle walls. So yeah, this is Lincoln Crown Court here. How beautiful is this for a, for a court? You can walk around the castle walls up the top if you want. But once again, you have to pay to go up there, I think. Um, I've heard there's like an exhibition or something up here as well. So I'll have a look at this bit. I think you've got Queen Victoria there. It's a statue of her. So I don't know if you can see in the background, you can see the, the, the uh, Lincoln Cathedral. Mm -hmm. 
guessing, I don't know, I've got some event on because there's hog roast over there, but it doesn't look open. Yeah, they've got like a dragon coming out of the walls here. Yeah. I've got two dragons. So yeah, school holidays at the moment. So you got a lot of families out and about having a picnic or whatnot. Very nice and chill down here. leaving the castle I'm guessing the exhibition is in this building here it's like I say I've never actually been to it you can't get a guided tour the castle we have to see the cathedral now <laughs> so as soon as I used to sell pizza and I'm not in Lincoln anymore I'd recommend these guys here Dole Loco so when I was here I suppose you could call them a competitor but they're actually really nice guys and the pizza apart from myself <laughs> Uh, it's probably the best in Lincoln, so I would recommend going to visit them if you ever want a pizza in Lincoln. This, this restaurant here is quite highly rated as well, Oliveras, which is uh, like a tapas restaurant. Um, the tapas restaurant I normally go to, oh, actually we already passed it, it was in the lawn complex, Ole Ole. So that was, if I were tapas, I normally used to go there. So nice. Historic building, you can actually stay here as well. Some of my friends came to visit once and we actually booked this uh, This building here. So upstairs you can rent the accommodation, which is it's very nice it's, it's weird there because it's all like crooked and small doorways and everything, but it's got a lot of character to it What's going on there? Piano man um, Had a few drinks in there before as well, the Magna Carta I always used to get stuck behind that guy when I was driving but uh, if you want like a tour on a, in a horse carriage there you go, can have a tour have a look at this so this is probably what Lincoln is most famous for Lincoln Cathedral like I say I won't go in because it does cost to go in and I have been in there quite a few times and what was nice as well actually is when I graduated from Lincoln University actually received my um, diploma in there as well so that was good even though it was raining that day and it was freezing in there but it was still uh, look nice so yeah this cathedral is huge and you know what it's nice to see you without any um, like scaffolding on it or anything because pretty much throughout the year they are working on it because it's such an old building can't remember actually how old it is i'll, I'll, I'll put it down below now but it went through several stages of building. If I remember right, I think a lot of Scandinavians made it, was that right? I don't know. Can't remember now. But yeah, I'm gonna stop here and turn around because there's a, there's a road from where the Magna Carta is called Steep Hill. So that's a very famous road as well and it's called steep hill because trust me it is steep we're gonna go down but going up it's an effort good workout though did that a couple of times a day you don't have to go to a gym so yeah 
Lincoln Cathedral, beautiful. So yeah, even when I lived here 15 years, every time I used to go places, past this place. Every time I used to be, I used to be amazed by it, you know, fantastic. You gotta think as well, from the time that it was constructed, it took a lot of effort and I'm sure a lot of people uh, died making this place as well. Look at it, beautiful. So we've got another tour guide here, city sightseeing. Shall we have a look how much it is? What's the prices for the tour guide? So then? So yeah, that's the prices for the tour guide, but you don't need it today because I'm the tour guide. So we're going to continue down steep hill now. So this square here, Castle Square, is such a nice place to relax. I mean, if you want to get coffee, you can get coffee here, a bottle of wine at Oliveira's, some beers at the pub, something for everyone. Another very famous place in Lincoln is this restaurant here, Brown's Pie Shop. So, very well known restaurant in Lincoln. We go my to also historic building. Get a good good meal in there and some drinks. Starting to get steep now. Strong smell of coffee coming from this place. Imperial Tin Coffee. <clears throat> this is quite a unique building here as well. It's a bit lopsided, a bit crooked. So, yeah. Continue down steep hill now. You can tell by the way some people walking up in this place, it is a struggle. It's a struggle to walk down it, so up it and down. I always said a good shop to have here would be like an, a shop selling like oxygen because <laughs> you always see people struggling at this point. Oh, wait. If you're ever here in the winter and it's snowing, this is the perfect place to go sledging, slide down, slide down this hill. Yeah, you can tell how steep it is because they've got the handrail here as well. So, pretty much at the bottom of steep hill now. And then steep hill um, goes on into the high street. So we'll get to the top of the high street soon. So I think what I'll do is have a little walk down the high street. Um, it's where you get a lot of, you know, brands and stuff like that and then because it's a nice day i'll probably take you to the waterfront the brayford keys because it's really nice down there to be fair on a day like today it could be abroad it could be in spain or something
got a nice antique shop here to the left antiques collectibles and this is another famous restaurant here as well one that i haven't actually tried as well is the jews house so it's quite famous this is because we've got jews court here which is like a bookshop and the jews house restaurant What makes steep hill worse as well is the, the cobble stones. That's what makes it worse. So if you're a lady, maybe you're wearing high heels. I have had to carry a few girls down this uh, street in the past because of the, the cobbles. Not good if you're wearing high heels or stilettos or whatnot. So this place here, if I was still in Lincoln, this would be my bar choice, the straight and narrow. Spent many evening in there. We've got a nice old school kind of pub here as well. It's not actually that old, but it's the feeling of it because of the building. It does feel like a proper old school pub. Uh, what's it called again? Cardinal's Hat. Wow, super busy down here. Nice to see Pizza Express empty. Well overpriced food there. Looks like everyone's taken advantage of the nice weather today and having a walk into town. So from pretty much here onwards is where you'll see a lot of kind of chain bars and shops that you see in pretty much any other city in the UK. It's like we've got TJ Fridays here, walkabout. So a lot of people do come down here for like a drink at night. This place is new, not seen any song before. Glory Holes. Bar and Golf. I went to a similar kind of place to this in Manchester a few, few weeks ago. So yeah, what we do is we'll continue to walk a bit further. Walk under this, uh, this is what they call it, the Stone Bowl, this archway coming up. See what I mean? Another Greg's? Don't go to Greg's. Go to an independent place instead. Much better quality. So this road, uh, if you like your nightlife, there's a few, well, I don't know if, if there are any more, but there used to be a few clubs on this road. I used to work, when I was at uni, I used to work at nightclub down the road called Ritzy. Don't know whether that's still open now, I don't know. Another chain pizza place. So yeah, this is the Stone Bowl. Busy centre of town. Tell 
get to school holidays, can't you? So Lincoln Market is to the left down here, but I think it's probably closed at this time. I don't know, it used to be like a big outdoor market, but they closed it all off a few years ago and redeveloped it. It does look very nice down there, where they've redeveloped in a place called the Cornhill, but I thought I'd go to the Brayford instead, seeing it's a nice day. So this, oh, is it closed? Oh, it's closed. Oh, I think I can go the other side. So battery ran out there so yeah this is what i wanted to show you anyway so past this little um walkway here some nice artwork so yeah this area here to the right is called the brayford so this is the um so we've got lots of chain restaurants here Looks very busy down here. Like it always is on a nice day. Very, very busy. Um, so yeah, you got all the chain restaurants, you got Odeon Cinema, you got Costas, you got ZZ's, Wagamama's, all that stuff, Nando's. Um, when I first came to Lincoln, when I was a student here, this area, there was hardly any units um, taken. They were all free because it was like a new development at the time. But now it's like prime location. Everyone wants a spot there. You got uh, Double Tree Hilton a bit further down. And the reason why I wanted to come here as well is this here to the left, all these buildings are the University of Lincoln. So this is where I went to university. So I am. Always looks very nice on a Sunday day. So yeah guys, that was my little tour of Lincoln. Like I say, I lived here a long time, so it's nice to have a little stroll about, a little wander about, and um, see some old sites, meet some old friends. Uh, so yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna meet some friends now, but I won't film that, so I'm gonna leave it here. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, and if you could, please subscribe. Till the next time, wander well, my friends. <laughs>